Polar ray. The polar ray is used to draw a circular pattern of objects. And we're going to go up to the Modify panel. And we're going to hit the down arrow on the array. And we're going to go to Polar Array. We're going to select the items. In this case, I have a triangle here. I'm going to hit Enter. It's going to ask me for the center point of the array. So I'm just going to pick it like right over here. And by default, it pops up the ribbon bar up here uh, for the array creation ribbon tab. And it'll, in here, we have the number of items. And AutoCAD just guess, guesses at how many items you want. So I'm going to say, how about 12? All right. And so when we put 12 in, it puts 12 items in. It calculates the fill angle. At this, we said uh, 360. So let's say I put 270 in there. So if I do that, it'll put 12 items in. And it goes around and does 270 degrees, three quarters of the way around. And it calculates the angle in between for you. But I could actually end up filling those in if I want. So I can change any one of these values, the angle in between, the number of items, or the fill radius if I like. Now, I'm going to change this back to 360 degrees. And it spins it all the way around. Now, let's take a look at the rows. The rows I like to think of as the spokes. I'll change it to three here. And you can see that they go out in a spoke fashion. So the rows are how many rows deep you have. And it has the distance in between each item in the row. So if I change that to two, it'll calculate the total for me. The total distance from cent centroid to centroid to centroid. So that's the total distance from the centroid of the first to the centroid of the last. Remember, centroid is the geographical center of the object. The levels are 3D. So what levels we have in 3D. Now, if I go and change this, let's say, to 270. All right. And I'm going to change this back to 1 just so it's a little easier to see here. Now, let's take a look at a couple of the items over here is the directional and rotation con uh, controls. So the direction controls whether or not it's counterclockwise or clockwise. Right? So when I click on it, you know, now I change directions whether I'm clockwise or counterclockwise. And also the rotate items. You can notice how the items are being rotated. In other words, the triangles are getting spun around. When I uncheck that, you can see all the triangles point upwards. So the rotating of these, you can see kind of points them in. So if I was making a clock face, I would not want them rotated so all the numbers could read from the bottom of the page. Also, associative controls whether or not it's an associative array. Associative array is when it's grouped together as one unit and then we can edit those things as a unit. If it's, un it's not associative, it's really just a copy command around those uh, in that pattern and it's not considered as a group and so when we want to finish our polar array we just go up to close array and you can see when I pick on it this is all one group now when I pick on it my ribbon bar comes back up and I can make all the changes I want. I can come over here and say, oh, I want to make some changes. Let's go to 360 and hit enter. And I can close the array when I'm done. So uh, the polar array allows us to draw circular patterns of objects. And it's found in the modify panel. And we have to hit the down arrow and choose polar array.